approached through my through email via Vogue. They had seen my work through my website and had taken time to contact me personally. I of course emailed straight back with a detailed CV and portfolio that suited their style style. Alongside this, I gave a cover email explaining how grateful I was that they had looked through my work and how flattered I was that they had taken the time to contact me. They then made me aware of the internships that they were offering me and urged me to apply for a position or a space, as they call it. Applying uh, for Vogue, not as easy as I expected. They asked for a lot. Um, they say that their expectations are different every year and the position would be a paid six months trial and then a possible contract thereafter. So obviously I was absolutely ecstatic. This would mean moving to London in February for six months on a wing. Obviously I'm not in London, so I didn't actually go. Um, but it was interesting to see the process that they put me through to apply for it. They sent me a brief, explained that this would be a staged process and warned me of the amount of applications they were receiving. The brief was three separate portfolios showing what I believe my true style was and what they were looking for and what I could bring to them. They specifically said it was more to do with what I could bring to them because obviously there are a lot of photographers that can take fashion photographs, you know, and they're not, they're not the hardest thing to do. Um, so you needed to bring your own kind of pizzazz to it sort of thing, um, to show them why you were unique and why you wanted, why you should get a job basically. They asked for a, a range of 16 to 35 photographs, but the more the merrier basically. I think I, did three portfolios, I think one of them had eight, the other one had 12-ish and the other one had like 24, so it was just, it was based on the project itself and whether you believed it was finished or, you know, and it didn't have to necessarily be fashion either, which is something that I was um, quite interested in because um, I'm not always fashion based, obviously you see my work throughout the years not ever being fashion really, but that's what I'm interested in. Um, this is the first email I sent to them. It outlined who I am, what I was doing, and what work I was initially interested in. I included a downloadable CV specified to the job, a mixture of photography I had photographed and what I was interested in, and then specified what I would like, what I would like to apply like for the internship. Because obviously, in such a big magazine, they're going to have different areas to work in, post-production, online shooting, it's, it's massive, the variety of stuff they've got. And um, I applied for post-production. Um, obviously I didn't, uh, I didn't get it, um, but because, they, because these internships are going every single year, it's not going to stop me from applying for more. I um, applied for Rankin as well and got quite far with him but because I'm still at uni I find it really difficult to kind of kind of juggle because I'm obviously quite far away from London or um, anywhere that's really got these big, big photographers so I guess you know you just got to keep your foot in the door with, with it with being <coughs> sort of thing. so we kind of conclude with some useful information and the contacts that we found. Um, any questions? <laughs>